Welcome back to Dirty Water Coins and Collectibles. What? Today we have our first penny box hunt from Vermont. This one is from Bethel. Every single roll in here has a marking with a B or a B1 on it, so I'm not sure if that just means Bethel or if these were already hunted. So I'm going to start with this box first. Hopefully we can find some errors or varieties. Probably not wheats or Indians, but you never know. But uh, let's get into it. I'm hoping to find something cool out of these boxes. So let me get into roll number one. I'll hunt through these. I'll bring you back probably after 10 rolls or when I find something cool. See you in a second. All right, first 10 rolls have been hunted. We do have some Canadians, of course, 1972, 1974, and a 2001. We had two 2009s, both the same. Um, professional life. They had a 1968S, Southern Coin Hunter. Let me know if you need that. And I do have three three errors here. So I'll show you here. It's 2015. We have a spike head. So there's a die crack that runs from the rim down into the head. And then it comes this way and then back that way. So that's a pretty cool find. Then I have a heavily abraded... 1983 you can see Lincoln's neck is just about missing remnants of a clash die back here and then also on the reverse if I twist it you can see clashing in here a little bit down there a little bit right here Nice die crack right there. So we have that. And then the best find is this 2017 that I only noticed when I slid it out of the roll. So this is a partial tilted collar. You can see up around here, the rim gets thicker. And then in this area, which I'll try to show you a little bit better, right here is the railroad rim. I'll show you that in a second if I can. You can see it on the reverse, down here. If I hold the coin, let's see. You can see it right like that. You see the railroading rim. That's when the collar is placed trying to get this in focus inside the striking chamber but it doesn't fall down flat the coin will strike with a railroaded rim I don't know if you can see it all that great if you get the picture but that's a cool find all right let's keep going Rolls 11 through 20, we have more Canadians, still no Wheaties. We have a 71, 81, 84, 86, a 1969S, potentially for Southern Coin Hunter if he needs it. I do have a couple of DDOs here. So this is a 2011, and I hardly come across any double dies for 2011. And this one appears to be DDO number 8, which has extra thickness in Liberty. And it says that it, the left side of the Y is thicker, which I have here. And then I have a double die 
2006. Let me pull this away so it's a little darker here. Yeah, there you go. So you can see the extra thickness in the two up in here and then out in here. Extra thickness in the zeros. The six looks fairly normal as usual. This one, I don't know which one it is. There's so many that look similar, and the coin has so much, uh, I guess, um, not really wear, but, oh God, I'm drawing a blank here. Abrasions and marks on it that I can't really make out the die markers. But it is a double die, so we'll hold it aside. Let's keep going. Rolls 21 through 35. We only had one Canadian, which is surprising. We have a few 2009s in fairly decent shape. So I have two professional lifes. What's this one? Oh my lord. I don't know. A presidency. What is that one? Formative years. And then under the scope here, I have a 2005, which on Wexler's looks like it could be DDR 98. But I did find this 2004, which looks like it could have a partial clipped planchet. So if you go on an angle, it looks like a little bit of the Blakesley effect. I'm not 100% sure about that, but that's not why I pulled this one aside. This one is on Wexler's a UFO variety. I've only found one other of these. So if you see in here, it kind of comes around in a circle right there and the same in here. So if you go to doubledie.com and you look up UFOs, this is under the Lincoln Sense. So that's a really cool find. I look for this on every 2004, plus the doubling. Um, and like I said, this is only, only the second one I've ever found. So that's an awesome find. Teamed up with it could be a partial clipped planchet is really cool. Let me hold these aside and get back into the hunt. See you in a second. Well, that does it for the penny hunt. We have more Canadians. We have a 1956 young head. So that was pretty cool. I have a 78, a decent condition 79, 82, 84, 87, 94 and a 2002 but we did find a weedy and this thing is banged up look at that this thing must have been in the ground but i believe that's a 57d yeah 57d worse for wear that is it. Those are our finds. So let me get the final wrap-up set up. I'll bring you back in. See you in a second. All right, well, here's our wrap-up. All of our Canadians. 1956, 67, 71, 72, 74, 78, 79, 81, 82, 84, another 84, 86, 87, 94, 01, and an 02. We have our 09 finds. We have one formative years. We had three, I'm sorry, four professional lives. And a presidency. We had our two estimates 
1968s and a 69s and our 57d weedy that is in terrible condition and our errors I don't remember what this one was let me see what the date is uh, 2004 I had the DDR by Lincoln right there 2006 DDO 2011 DDO 2015 with the die crack in the head Let's see right going through the W and we and you can kind of see it going through his head and we have the over abraded 1983 we have the 2017 which I don't think you can really let me see if I can get it this way the tilted collar no it's not really showing up you kind of see it there we have the tilted collar and then we have the 2004 UFO. Let me zoom out a little bit because that's kind of too close. So again, you can see the circle pattern right here. And then again, right in here. And I do have it up on doubledye.com. You can see it right there. So that's the UFO 001, I believe. So that's a cool find. That's only my second one. So I'll take it. All right. That does it for the wrap-up. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate your support. I will see you all on the next one. Please remember to subscribe. Hit that notification bell, tap that like button.